डेटा पैटर्न उन्नीस सौ में इस कंपनी की शुरुआत हुई थी वर्टिकली इंटीग्रेटेड डिफेंस और एरोस्पेस में इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सॉल्यूशंस देने का कारोबार करती है बेसिकली डिफेंस और एयरस्पेस जी ये जो दो बड़े इंटरेस्टिंग और बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट जो सेक्टर्स हैं उनमें ये अपनी अलग अलग तरीके की सर्विसेज देती है और इसीलिए सारे बड़े कस्टमर्स हैं इनके पास में डीआरडीओ इसरो जो बड़ी बड़ी कंपनियां हैं भेल बीएल टाइप की जो इन सब में अपने प्रोडक्ट्स बनाती है तो ये सारे के सारे कारोबार करने वाली कंपनी और कंपनी के ये जो प्रोडक्ट्स बनाती है सारी जो मिसाइल्स है जो रडार्स हैं इनमें इनके प्रोडक्ट्स लगते हैं इनकी सर्विस आइए सबसे पहले तो मैं आपको कंपनी के तो जानकारी मैं दे ही चुका हूं अब मैं आपको बता दूं पहले आईपीओ की डिटेल्स चौबीस तारीख को लिस्ट हुआ था इश्यू प्राइस थी आपके लिए आठ सौ छप्पन आठ सौ छप्पन पे तो लिस्ट हुआ है इश्यू प्राइस थी पांच सौ दमदार लिस्टिंग हुई आठ पर लगभग पैंतालीस ऊपर लिस्ट हुआ वहीं पर हाई बनाया आठ का अब भी सात सौ के ऊपर ट्रेड करता हुआ दिखा यानी कि इश्यू प्राइस से 20 परसेंट अब भी ऊपर है तो ये है दमदार लिस्टिंग रेस्पॉन्स जबरदस्त मिला था क्यू कैटेगरी में 190 गुना एच में 255 गुना रिटेल में 23 गुना तो ये था तगड़ा रेस्पॉन्स आपके लिए इस वक्त आता हुआ इस आईपीओ को आइए कंपनी के प्रोमोटर और सीएमडी श्रीनिवास गोपाल रंगराजन साहब का कार्यक्रम में हमारे साथ शामिल हो रहे हैं एक बार फिर से उनका परिचय दे दूं मद्रास यूनिवर्सिटी से सर ने फैकल्टी ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी में केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग में बैचलर्स की डिग्री ली है आईआईटी मद्रास से आपने साइंस में मास्टर्स की डिग्री ली है बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स फाइनेंस मार्केटिंग ये सारे डिपार्टमेंट है जो एक कंपनी को चलाने के लिए आपको जानने समझने चाहिए इन सब में रंगराजन साहब का तीस साल से ज्यादा का गहरा अनुभव है मिस्टर रंगराजन थैंक यू सो मच सर स्वागत है आपका जी बिजनेस पर सबसे पहले आपको धन्यवाद समय देने के लिए फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट मेनी मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन योर ग्रेट रेस्पॉन्स टू योर आईपीओ एंड फेबुलस लिस्टिंग आई एम श्योर योर इन्वेस्टर्स मस्ट बी हैप्पी एंड यू आर ऑल्सो हैप्पी एज वेल राइट सर Thank you very much. Yes, yes, uh, we are all very happy that the listing went on successfully, mm-hmm. and uh, there is so much uh, investor interest. Actually, we were all very humbled to learn that we have more than 1.4 lakh investors in data patterns. It is a very, very humbling uh, thing. It is a wholly homegrown Indian defence and aerospace electronics company, so it is a very humbling experience. The whole process of IPO listing. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Absolutely, absolutely. 120 times uh, subscription to your IPO is not a small thing. Uh, obviously, lot of trust, confidence. What you got from your investors, and they are uh, now expecting something back from your company, like your financial performance. So, please share us uh, uh, your vision. What do you think? Where do you see your company three years, five years down the line? See, starting now. See, we've done a number of more product development in the last twenty odd years for Department of uh, you know Defence, basically DRD. We've done a number of products for radars, electronic warfare, uh, avionics, blast cockpit, uh, you know missile electronics, satellites. So we've done a lot of products. Some of them have matured into production contracts. Model is we do a DRD product. Once it is certified, production order comes from the production agency like BEL and HIL. So that contract started coming. We have very good orders in hand of more than six hundred crores. That is two years of revenue we have on hand. But more importantly, we have ten times that in terms of expected revenue, in terms of uh, you know products already developed under certification, have certified, where repeat orders are required. So this makes our future a bit strong. We're able to have visibility to see how to scale the business. The last few years we have scaling about thirty percent year and year. I believe we will scale at about forty percent going from here. Year and year, because of the strong kind of visibility in terms of order book which we have, but more importantly, you are talking three years from now. So we have a visibility of three years going ahead. Why are we thinking that the company will scale? Is because government of India now has taken decision that for the last seventy seventy five years, we are importing all the defence equipment. More than one lakh crore of defence equipment is being put, uh, you know capex is being spent, and only foreigners are bidding against this today. The government has decided only Indian industry will, defer, you know, bid against prime, prime this or the more tenders. So when we start doing that, the entire business is now available to Indian industry. They may back to back tie up with the foreign OEMs because the products may not be available. So, but then there is a value add content which they have said, 40 to 60 percent has to be added in India. That brings an enormous amount of opportunity for Indian companies. More than that, 
we are actually trying to build complete equipment not just a service business or components and job shop design which we do end to end design in india but we want to build the full systems so what we are trying to do is bring in indian ecosystem for defense we want to be some companies like you know in israel or europe or london uk or us build products we want to address the market 80% which is india is importing build equal and products and address the market in indian context so that is an opportunity we are looking at scaling the opportunity multiple times that is our vision that is where we want to go and why we believe it's a good time for us to be in an in infection point because the market's open now okay so i just want to underline what you said like uh, 600 crores is your current order book but you are looking at 10 times of your order book as potential orders might be coming in right sir it has to because of the various products we already done and delivered so okay. the certifications are undergoing some said we already over repeat orders are expected only mm -hmm. the timing is not exactly uh, you know defined by us but there is enormous potential which you create for ourselves oh my god it's big number like 6000 crore uh, order book potential okay sir your margins are quite impressive i though i mean uh, revenues are uh, not much 225 crore top line is a small company but at uh, lower base you can maintain this kind of margin 40% plus do you think on uh, when you scale up you will be able to maintain or even increase this kind of margins what is the reasonable estimate for your margins going forward see there are two parts to this business what we are doing with drdo and uh, the rest is we do custom development everything is designed by we our model is slightly different from others we differentiate mm -hmm. from other companies in india what happens is some companies import some uh, you know building blocks and then integrate the system customize some what we do in data patterns is we competed initially in started itself 20 years back we competed with the building blocks which india was importing so actually we design everything from scratch with the result the ip belongs to us so we work with the basic raw materials there some other companies buy and integrate and then customize so the cost model is slightly more of course there is a development cost which is there but the over the last 20 years we continuously be absorbing development cost and return the development cost as part of revenue expenses every year we have always looked at future not in that that year's kind of a revenue and the bottom line that is why the margins you say is uh, is there because what people buy we design and we implement so our raw material costs are much lower so the gross margin is higher this is what has happened so the first part of model is where we do development fully in india all electronics is done the margins is what it is now, now when i say can it go like this can i maintain the margins in next year or two can i increase the margins based on the orders on hand and orders expected these are parts which already has been done the production orders are coming so i can we will assume that these kind of margins are uh, realizable going ahead in the next few years time but then when we look at mod tenders and we start uh, addressing those tenders it may not be possible that all electronics is designed by us we may have to buy and integrate to make a complete equipment because all uh, capability may not be available nor the time frame to design may not be available to address the requirement in such situations then when you buy and integrate our gross margin will go down but presently what we are doing whatever orders you are talking about expected orders and orders at hand is all designed by us right. so the next 2 3 years mm -hmm. we expect the same kind of gross margin okay wonderful uh, so nice to hear that and uh, many many congratulations once again mr rangarajan for your uh, great listing and all the best uh, for the uh, future uh, time to come uh, we hope that uh, your company delivers as per the expectation of your investors thank you so much sir thank you thank you very much ओके तो ये थे मैनेजमेंट डेटा पैटर्न्स के बता दे कंपनी जबरदस्त आउटलुक है सर इनका तो जबरदस्त जिस तरह से अगर प्लान से एग्जीक्यूट हो जाए तो तो बढ़िया रहेगा सर सवा दो सौ करोड़ की रेवेन्यू वाली कंपनी छह सौ करोड़ की ऑर्डर बुक और छह हजार करोड़ के पोटेंशियल ऑर्डर बुक इसीलिए आईपीओ के वक्त हम काफी बुलिश थे मैनेजमेंट बहुत ही जबरदस्त नीट एंड क्लीन बहुत ही बेहतरीन मैनेजमेंट